Sky Prophet, baby. I'm <coughs> back with another video. Hope your day going good. Hope that you're in the right head, place, and space. Holding love within yourself. Just truly trying to make yourself better. Prophet sending blessings, guidance, and protection. Integrity, strength, focus, and understanding. Each individual out there. No exceptions. Never no exceptions. So you're trying to change. You're trying to improve yourself. You're trying to establish that bond between your reality now and your higher self. So you could transform all the things that you need to transform. That probably will sum it up. Prophet got some advice. Whenever you do understand self-love, whenever you do understand that it don't matter who a person is, it don't matter how you feel, it don't matter about the reality of none of it. If individuals trying to deliberately hurt you, if individuals deliberately disrespect you, you got to put up your boundaries. See this head place in space. When prophets say that, it ain't nowhere in particular, but it is right here. You always supposed to hold that. When an individual can't respect what you stand for, when individuals can't respect the God in themselves enough to to give respect when an individual go in your energy playing want to play around you got to put the boundaries up and not allow an individual within your place and space within your energy unless it's an honest an individual ready to be honest ready to acknowledge things ready to understand and grow I'm pretty sure sometimes you wonder why people leave where such and such at no more and you wondering about what you used to do and how you used to a lot of these things is going to clear up because of your vibration you're raising your vibration but not only that see it's going to get to a point if you steady trying to evolve, it's, it's going to get to a point to where these energies going to step in. These divine energies going to step in and not allow individuals around you. You could seem like you're losing whatever you, whatever it seemed like to you, but listen to profit until individuals are ready to understand and respect that sacred part of you because anybody out there listening now <laughs> you making them changes for the better you understanding that love in your heart you understanding love for the next individual you truly can see the, the bigger picture of a better earth listening to your guidance whether you feel it or not, whether you think you are or not, you within sacredness. You respect it for that. Walk around and talk and, and, and watch individuals and see how many individuals actually actually caring about loving, betterment, all these things on a constant day-to-day -day basis. You know, and I know it's all kind of excuses to whatever, man. You know, like living life and I, like I, I get that reality of it. But I also understand that nobody will be here without source. 
not one individual. See, you can make an excuse on why you ain't come see me. See, you can make an excuse on why you just change your mind at the last minute. But source really don't call for no excuses because the whole point and reason to you getting any kind of understanding is because of that. I want a lot of individuals listening, man. Everybody listening to understand this. Your guidance, your true compass, it comes when you begin to open your eyes to all of the things you was wrong, you, you, you went about the wrong way and how individuals went about things the wrong way and you get to see things. Those intentions after that becomes real meaningful. You really, really have that, that guidance where you can hear that voice. But until you awaken, you are guided and protected but it's still a different path. It's still a different path. I don't have to break it down. I don't want to break it down like that, but you have to understand duality. You got to understand duality. So if you awaken and you start to walk down your path, your journey, what would the other path that you choose not to awaken in or whatever. What you think those, that path is? That's the path of all we've encountered, you know, before these times. Because ain't nobody was really trying to hear spirit. Ain't nobody listening to spirit. Ain't nobody was awakened to it yet. I mean, some was. I'm just speaking in general, though. And it changes everything. Like, it truly changes everything. I can understand why they use that phrase answering the call. You know that 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 that's a good way to put it because things do change. Things do become clearer to you. Everything does. But you got to always take the time for yourself. Take the time for your place and space to be right all the time. See, if I don't want to fix myself or they don't want to fix themselves, it's easy to live life amongst individuals. When you truly decide you want better and your feet don't start moving like that, you're going to lose a lot of individuals. A lot of individuals is going to start to look at you in a different light. Well, you can't get, you can't, no, 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 no. What you trying to fly? Individuals going to begin to look at you in a different light. You know, some, hold on a second. You know, some might say you're trying to be too much. You're trying to be better than somebody. I never used that I never used that phrase because I always understood that me saying you trying to be better than me is actually me just thinking that you better than me. Because a lot of times you don't hear that from that individual don't go tell him I'm better than you. The individual don't do that. I guess some people might. I never encountered it like that. So I understood that phrase. And you, it's still happening today. It's still happening today. For you to come around me and leave and for me to have any kind of thought about you thinking you better than me and you didn't say it out of your mouth, something right here. Like it's just something right here. It's not, it has nothing to do with you. It's not going to have nothing to do with you. That be the anger within from individuals that, that's, that's not healing themselves. And it just projects to you like that. 
you know, and, and prophet can tell you how to solve that. The way you solve that is to simply know who you are each and every day. Acknowledge who you are. When you say your affirmations, acknowledge who you are. And you don't have to worry about no projections. You don't have to worry about what an individual's opinion of you are, is. Because I'm going to tell you, man, we, we, it'd it be a point in our life where we shouldn't even care about our opinions of ourselves. That's how far apart we actually be from our higher self. We shouldn't even care about none of the opinions we be saying. Like, man, you know how, how individuals, oh, man, I know I can do better than this, man. I'm sad, you know, all that. That's low vibrations. And everybody got to understand the energy game, man. I say energy game because if you're not aware of it and, and awakened to it, that's exactly what it is. And you got individuals that's awakened to it. And that's still what it is. See, people don't be getting the concept of karma, you know, and why they got to go over these type of lessons and all these type of things. But you're dealing with divine energies. All of them is divine energies. It's just bringing it as pure as you could get it with the balance within yourself. But none of these negative energies was created nowhere. None of these negative energies was created, period, by other, by other entities or whatever you would want to, however you would play into the story. All energies is divine energies. See, I can tell you all kind of stuff. I know how to send energy at you. I can tell you all kind of stories about who I send at you. That's 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 irrelevant. Is you believing it and feeling it would make it true within you? Just know who you are. I can guarantee you this. Each and every day, I have no no doubt. That more than I even know, send negative energy toward me. Probably all day. Probably all day. That's probably why you see Prophet be making these videos all day. Because I understand what thoughts are mine. What thoughts coming in on my wave and what's trying to sneak in to the mind frame. I understand that clearly. I understand that. I pick up shit or everybody energies. I pick up everybody thoughts. Like I understand that. That's why when I make these videos, it resonates with you in a certain way. So I've learned to understand my thoughts. I know what, how I think on a regular basis. Pay attention to how you think on a regular basis. So you can stop thinking that you tripping. You're just picking energies up. You're just picking projections up. That's it, man. That's it. Protect your energy. Protect yourself to and from. Watch your surroundings. Watch what you're taking your ears. Watch what you give out your mouth. Help somebody if you can. Give somebody some words of encouragement if you can. Prophet got words of encouragement, man. If you can be, see, set your intentions, walk within the biggest version of yourself, the highest vibration of yourself, the most loving part of yourself, your being. If you could step into that, your days, your clouds, is going to clear up. Now, if, like I say, if you got a scooter and you're just trying to get the motorbike, I don't know what clouded 
your cloud and my cloud is different. My cloud, my messages, all prophet words, never, never has nothing to do with materialistic. I don't have no need to talk to you about materialistic things. This is a spiritual war, spiritual awakenings not material is the material that keeps individuals from awakening from staying strong you understand how many it's some of y'all listening to me right now y'all been dealing with people so long y'all been having the same type of ways and relationships for so long that shit actually feel like that's the right thing for you. That shit actually feel like you betraying somebody. That shit, <laughs> thank you, Spirit. Actually feel like you doing something wrong if you cut ties with that. And Prophet can tell you this. If you feel you're doing something wrong, then make yourself, allow yourself to understand you're doing something wrong. But understand this also, if you don't have that right, spirit going to show you sooner or later how it goes. See, you got God inside. There's no doubt about it. You understand that you can't wake up tomorrow like you don't. You can't cut this video off and move around like you don't know that. If you keep in your moment, you do. If you don't keep your moment, you, you're not even within that parameter of thinking, that realm of thinking, that vibration of thinking. So make it a habit for you to get understanding and knowing of who you are, what you're standing for. Respect your place and space. Make other individuals respect it. It's not hard. It's not hard to watch because the way it's set up now, spirit tapping on the shoulder, plucking on the forehead, spirit pushing stuff away from you, all of that. You're going to understand it. 